Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again to show you how I control indoor botanical pests. Stay planted. I use grub grenade once a year when I bring in my plants from outside to catch any extra pests that may tag along for the ride. I will post the link in the description down below. I also give them a good spray down with an all natural neem oil and dish soap solution and I vacuum them with my dust buster to catch any wee Klingons. Give you a good close up look inside there. You won't be able to see anything though because they are totally microscopic. You can only see them with a microscope. You just use a teaspoonful here and there and you're good to go. It's that easy. I will show you how. Just put like a little bit in here. And then we'll put a little bit in here. Maybe sprinkle a little there. Sprinkle a little there. A little there. Ooh, there's a lot there. And what they do is they'll they'll climb um, like from plant to plant. And as you can see there, I got a little cobweb, so there's some spiders in there. And they will eat whatever they come in contact with. So I think a little bit there. I'll put a little bit in there. That'll be good for that this row. But you only need a little bit here and there for each level, and they will climb along and eat as they go along. They do not infest your house or climb all over you when you're sleeping unless you're covered in gnats, so no worries there. And they are only interested in uh, snacking on those creepy little bugs that are destroying your plants from the roots on up. They are good for controlling fungus gnats, pulpating thrips, spider mites, root weevils, root aphids, pathogenic nematodes, and many more invasive pests. If you have a severe gnat infestation, you should invest in some yellow sticky traps like these. I will also put the link in the description below where you can pick these up. They work great as well. What are your tips and tricks to controlling indoor creepy crawlers? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there and if you adore plants like I do, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe and smack that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of my beautiful subscriber friends. As always, take good care of yourself out there and much love.